Hi everybody, let's talk about hand placement during the push-up. So uh, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. So I like to recommend under your shoulders, basically. So about a shoulder width hand stance. Um, that's going to just optimize your leverage. You're going to use more of the. Sh you're going to use equal amounts of shoulder and elbow to drive your motion, and you're going to be a little bit stronger and more endured. Have more endurance during it. Uh, if you widen your hands, you're placing more emphasis on the chest muscles. So you're placing more emphasis on the shoulder joint. If you have shoulder issues, you might want to avoid doing the wide thing because it might be putting your shoulder in a position where it's not really happy with the push up. But that's a talk for another video. Uh, if I move in even narrower, that just takes away some of my leverage, makes my elbow bend a lot more um, and decreases the torque that I have on the shoulder. So now I have more torque on the elbow. Um, I'm going to feel it more in my tricep area. So that's just a bunch of different ways that you can kind of um, tweak the push up to get what you want out of it. Um, and, and that's more of a width standpoint. If we talk about the length, the distance away from you, you can also manipulate that a little bit. If I have my hands back further like this during my push-up, it's going to put a lot of stress on my wrists first and foremost, so make sure you're flexible there or you're <laughs> ready for it. You know what you're getting yourself into. Um, generally, I'm looking for a straight line because that is me optimizing my leverage, right? I want to teach my bones to take the compression. I don't want um, my joints to have to kind of hang on to things more like this, at least if I'm trying to be as strong as possible during this exercise. If I want to challenge that, I can move my hands further away from me, and it's even possible to do push-ups here, right? It's just different. It's a little bit longer of a plank. It's a longer lever on the ab, so I'm gonna feel more ab when I do it. Um, and it turns into a little bit more of a um, tricep elbow thing just by the nature of it. Um, moving, again, away from the elbow joint, increase the torque, um, train that muscle. Uh, lastly, if I do move my hands more overhead, I get this uh, scapular uh, protraction, abduction, winging motion that allows me to place a little bit more emphasis on the support muscles that I have during my push-up, my serratus anterior, that muscle that I'm sure you've heard me talk about already. <laughs> um, Outside of that even, just the position can be really good for some people. You notice a lot of people with really closed upper chests. Um, let me try to emphasize it. So it kind of looks like this. Oh, my pec is cramping. That's kind of nice. Uh, and the shoulder points forward like this. You'll notice when these people row, it looks like this. They don't actually get their shoulder back when they do their row. Their shoulder stays forward and just their elbow comes back. So if you have someone like that, or you're struggling with stuff like that, you might even want to try moving your hands forward on your push-up because as I bring my arm forward like this, I'm exaggerating it so you can see it, but it opens up the upper chest as long as I can maintain good tension on my abs to pull the lower rib cage down. Then my arm coming up pulls the upper rib cage up and it kind of just spreads everything out. There you go, hand placement during the push-up.